Hi, in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create an online course using a platform called Payhip. You'll learn how to set up your online course in Payhip, things such as your curriculum and the lessons within it. You'll also learn how to set up your pricing and plans, managing your course members, as well as providing certificates to those who actually finish your course. And finally, you'll learn how to set up your sales page so that you can start selling your online course. Let's get to it. All right, first of all, if you don't have a Payhip account yet, be sure to look down below in the description where there's a link directly to Payhip. Once there, all you need to do is click on the Get Started for Free button to sign up. And then you'll land on the dashboard where you can view all your products, your stats and your analytics. Obviously, I've got a lot here going on. These are just demo products that I've used in the past and past tutorials. But where you get started, is to make sure you first configure your account. So if you haven't done that yet, simply go to account, go to settings, and you wanna fill all these details in, such as your store name, you wanna select a username as well. Payment details is important if you obviously want to get paid, you can integrate your PayPal account and or your Stripe account. And feel free to go through the other pages, such as billing and invoices, taxes, and much more. Once done, head to products and then click on add new product to create your first online course. You'll see course as one of the product types. We are going to select that one in particular. Give your course a name. I'm just going to give this online course a hypothetical name and that is photography for beginners. Once done, click on add course and you should land on a page that looks like this. You've got a few options up on the navigation bar and this is specific to the online course feature. If you've yet to actually create your online course content, be sure to watch my other tutorial on how to actually create an online course. In that video, I walk you through the steps on how to actually create an online course from concept idea to creating the content for it and how to structure and lay it all out. Link will be in the description box below. So feel free to watch that video before you actually start creating these lessons and the modules. All right, assuming you've got your content ready, head to curriculum, which is where you land by default. And you'll see this first section. Think of sections as modules. So let's say this is the introductory module. You wanna make sure you edit that section to introduction. And let's say you've got about two lessons on the introduction. You may wanna introduce the course and then there could be another video or a lesson on introducing yourself and your background. So therefore what you can do is click on add new lesson. That'll add it underneath that section or module. And then from here, you can type in the name of the lesson. It could be what you'll learn and you simply click on the check mark and let's say we want one more lesson underneath that section called who am I so I'll make sure I select that and right there you structured your first section as well as lessons underneath that section and what you can do now is you can add the actual content for each of those lessons. Let's say what you'll learn is the first one you'll be editing. You can click on that lesson once. That will take you to the editor where you can start entering the title of your lesson. We've done that already, so no need to play around with that. Now we're gonna select the lesson type. Is it a video format, text, is it a quiz, download, survey, an assignment, or do you wanna embed something from another source. If for instance, you recorded your content on video, you can very well select video. And then there are a couple of options here. You can load up a video from your library that is within Payhip. You can also upload a video file to your Payhip account. However, if you do wanna upload directly to your Payhip account, you will need a video subscription. So what you can do is click on upload file. You'll see this Payhip videos option or you can click on learn more about Payhip videos. And essentially with the video subscription, all you need to pay is $5 per month and that should give you more than adequate space so that you can upload all your course videos. As you can see, 16 hours of video being uploaded. So it's not too cost effective and if you simply wanna upload and not have to worry about other video hosting services, then this may be a all the solution that you need. Now, on the other hand, if you wanna save a bit of money, you can upload videos or more so embed videos from external sources such as YouTube, Wistia, and Vimeo. To do that, make sure you switch the lesson type and this time we'll do an embed. And this is where you paste in 
the embed code from your YouTube video. To get an embed code from a YouTube video, all you need to do is head to that video. And then right here, you can see the more options. Click that once, click on share, and then you'll see embed. Click that, and then you'll see the iframe embed code right there. You wanna select it all and then paste it over. So I'll select it all, paste it in. There we go. The alternative is to head to the video, you'll see share. If you click that once, same story here. All right, now that we've added our video, whether you upload it to Payhip or you use the embed code, head down and you'll see other options such as adding text. So if you wanna add additional and elaborate further on the video content, or let's say you wanna provide a transcript of that video, then you can simply paste it in all here with simple formatting options. You can also embed uh, images and also another video too. And there's an option to place the text below the embed code or above. Now, if you have downloads, make sure to use this option here and you can upload max size of two gigabytes per file. Down below, you've got lesson settings. The first is publish lesson. Do you wanna make it a draft or do you want it to be public and live. So if you do want it to be available and seen by those who have signed up to your course, make sure you click this option here. A handy little option is to make this particular lesson a free preview lesson. So those who do sign up to become a student can take this first lesson before you know moving on to the next after having paid or subscribed or signed up to your online course. If you wanna make this lesson a prerequisite, if you do, make sure you select this. And that means this lesson must be completed first before moving on to the next. You can also enable comments for feedback and engagement by enabling the discussions section. There's also an option to select a custom lesson icon and label, you can see right here, or you can embed it using this field here. Once done, click on save changes. Now that it's saved, we can preview this specific lesson by clicking on preview, and we can select current lesson or all course lessons. And there we go, we've got our video embedded. We didn't attach or add any further text, so nothing else. And while we're here, this is what the interface actually looks like when a student signs up, logs in and checks out one of the lessons. But let's go back to curriculum because you can also preview your course and your dashboard by going to preview and we can go all course lessons or viewing it as an enrolled student. So clicking that, you'll see how it will actually look like for course members. To add a new section or module, all you need to do is click on plus new section. I'm going to call this section camera gear, click on save. And now that section has been added. All I need to do now is add new lessons to the section. What's also great about Payhip is it allows you to add things like quizzes and assignments. So let's say you want to test your students, you can add a quiz, add a new quiz question, and then you've got here question number one, question type one correct answer or multiple correct answers. And then what you do is you type in the question here and here are the choices. You've got choice number one, number two, or if you have multiple choices, then add more right here. And then you've got a box for an explanation and you can add more quiz questions down below. At this point, go ahead and add all your sections and lessons within them. There is a way to apply bulk actions while you're on the curriculum page. Let's say you want to make each of these lessons or multiple lessons public or published. All you need to do is select the specific lessons. Go here where it says bulk actions and you can do things like toggle discussion setting, toggle prerequisite setting, uh, preview and you've got publish settings. So that's the option we want. We'll click once and there we go. You can see it's published now by looking on the right where you can see the check marks. Alternatively, you can do it individually by clicking on a specific lesson like this one here, clicking on published and that is done. So I'll do it for the rest. Another great way to save some time, let's say you've made some sort of template or layout for a lesson is using the duplicate button. So clicking on duplicate will duplicate that specific lesson so that you don't need to make that page again. Moving on to the next page and that is settings. You've got basic settings to name your course. You have the ability to upload a product thumbnail and this is going to be shown on your store listings and checkout and social media when course pages uh, shared. A couple of advanced options include automatically subscribing customers to a mailing list. Really handy if you want to follow up on your students, provide 
either additional updates and also news and alerts and perhaps some promotional material too. You've got the option to enter your author details as well as your profile image. Back at the top, you'll see the course player settings. This gives you a few customization options for branding. Let's say the primary color, we wanna select uh, red instead just to make it entirely different. And I'll click on save. Now when I go to preview, then to course as enrolled student, you'll see the difference right there on the header. You also have the ability to switch between light and dark themes. Also down the bottom, you can upload your own logo. Now moving on before we head to pages, we'll do that later, but under pricing, you'll see the option to add your pricing plan or plans. So what you can do is go to either one-time purchase if your course is a one-time purchase, let's say of $27, $40, whatever it may be, but let's put in $99. And that is what you can do. Name the pricing plan. So let's say you've got three different pricing structures with different deliverables. One could be named standard, another one could be silver, and the other one, a pro or a gold account. A subscription allows you to set up a plan so that your customers or students get charged on a periodic basis. So let's say it's only $10 every month, or you can set one of these other frequencies. And then you've got payment plan, which is essentially a plan for your course. So if you're only going to charge $10, but a limit of uh, six uh, payments, this makes it maybe more economical for your students to uh, purchase your course, making it more affordable too. That's what payment plans are. Otherwise, if you completely wanna give your course away, uh, for without any uh, charge, then you select free and this allows access to your content without any charge. They will bypass any checkout and pricing. But I'll just choose a one-time purchase of $99 and add the pricing plan. Now that it's added, you'll see the checkout URL and you'll see right here, you can copy the URL directly that will take you to the checkout page. But because we haven't set up our pages yet, you need to set it all up in pages. So let's just move on to that. All right, so by default, this is what your page looks like and the URL given by Payhip. So if we click that once, that'll take you to this page that looks like this. It's just a template. You'll see your pricing plan that you added and a preview of the course curriculum right here with all the lessons that were added. To customize it, go back and we are going to click on edit. Right here, we can customize the landing page such as the course title the sections, the features, images, and anything else we want. On the left is where you can actually edit and customize the content. So starting from the header, we can click that once, that'll bring up more options such as the store logo, navigation links, header settings to an announcement bar and other elements. Here we've got the hero image and the heading. So if we click that once, we can customize what we wanna put on here. So instead of course title, we will put in how to get started in photography. We can also add a descriptive uh, sentence or subtitle down the bottom and create a call to action button if you want. It's completely optional, but let's say we want get the course as the call to action button. Button link, we need to link it up to our product. And then from here, we'll search for the product we added, the online course that is photography for beginners. And now you'll see here a little call to action button that will take the customer or student directly to the checkout page. Feel free to customize all the other settings. You've got other layout and alignments right here. Click on save changes first. Same goes for the other sections on your page. You can also add new sections and there's quite a lot of sections that you can play around with here. So you've got pricing plans, you've got uh, course curriculum that you can add, which are already in there. Images with text. You can add a gallery, you can add slideshows, feature lists, or perhaps a video too. And you've got other components such as your testimonials, contact us, newsletter, FAQs, and much more. In regard to the whole theme of your landing page, you can go down here where it says change store style. You can customize the existing theme by selecting any of these options, or you can very well go to themes. And then what you can do from here is switch to another theme. Current theme is Airsmith, but you can switch to one of these other ones too, which is what I really love about Payhip. It's not just static and you're fixed to their one theme that they feature. You've got plenty of themes to choose from and then further having that ability to customize the existing themes. 
If you take a look at the top, you can see the page that you're currently editing. So currently we are editing the course page, but you can very well go to other pages such as the contact page. That'll switch to the contact page. So whenever someone clicks on contact, this is what they'll see. If you'd like to add a new page, let's say you want to feature something like an about page, you can very well do that by clicking on plus add and then selecting a custom page. But that's how you can customize your sales page. There's also options to customize the checkout page and thank you page. You can also view your checkout page by clicking on this link. This is what viewers will see when checking out. And this is the thank you page here, which can be customized by clicking on edit. This is what the default page looks like. All right, moving on, we've got the members section where you can manage all of your members. You can go into a specific member, view their details, and then you can see which courses they're enrolled in. You can check out the activity feed, things that they've completed, things that they haven't completed, quizzes that they've completed, and also surveys. So a handy way to manage all of your members. Next up, you also have the ability to offer a certificate after someone completes an online course of yours. All you need to do is head to certificates, click on add first certificate. Choose a name for your certificate. I've just called mine the course name, so photography for beginners. And then you can select a theme. You've got this one here, here's another one. Uh, and several others to choose from. Then you've got the content tab where you can customize what you want to appear here. The placeholders will be replaced with the student's name and the course name, but there are other fields that you can use to customize the certificate further. Then you've got some design options, being able to select a specific font from the list right here and the colors to customize the certificate look. The video library section is where you'll be able to see all your uploaded videos. That's only if you've got that PayHip videos subscription. There's also a handy feature to drip your lessons of your online course. So going to drip, you can drip and schedule uh, specific content uh, so that only making it available at certain periods of time. So for instance, you can drip feed based on the student's enrollment date, and then you can drip the first section, let's say the introduction uh, immediately. So no waiting after they enroll. In the next section under camera gear, we've got a lesson called budget friendly. This could be one day after enrollment and this one too, intermediate. Then you've got camera settings. This could be, let's say uh, the third day after enrollment. So set those parameters uh, as you wish. That's if you want to do that. And this could be a good way for your students to consume your content on a much uh, more digestible uh, way as opposed to having everything given to them all at once. And finally, the publish option allows you to set the status of your online course globally. So you can set it to draft, pre-order or published. And once you've configured your online course to start promoting it, all you need to do is head to the pages section and refer back to the sales page URL. And this is the exact link that you wanna give out and promote to your audience. Bear in mind that PayHip does have a store builder and this right here is what your store looks like. We've got our photography for beginners online course there. They can click it and then read more about it and then purchase. But in order to customize our store, all you need to do is head to store, launch your store builder. And then right here is where you can customize your store. Similar to when you edited your sales page or landing page. So you'll see here on the left, you've got the header, you've got collections about me and so on and so forth. If you ever need to make changes to your online course, head to products, then to manage next to the online course and then you'll be taken back to this area here. Other than that, that is how to create and set up your online course inside PayHip. If you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and happy course creating. See you in the next one.